This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're going to talk about Crossfire. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So, since I've started talking about Crossfire on my channel, maybe four, five years ago, since I've started using it, um, I, I've had a lot of comments about how people use Crossfire and then in a week uh, they still have bites or in three days they still have bites or even two or three weeks they're still getting bit by bed bugs because Crossfire is a chemical to control bed bugs. Um, that's all it's for is bed bugs. That's what the label says. It's strictly just for bed bugs and so that's why I talk about it because well this is bed bug seems like that's all people want me to talk about are bed bugs. Um, but I want to go over a few things and how Crossfire actually works and why you're still getting bit after applying Crossfire. Now, not everybody has this problem in very mild uh, infestations. You know, you may be able to kill all the bed bugs with just one treatment and the next day you don't get bit at all anymore. Um, but the problem with bed bugs, and this is one of the reasons that people have so many problems with them, is because the eggs take about six to ten days to hatch okay so if you treat your house today for bed bugs and the bed bugs bit you last night and they laid eggs last night then you know you have eggs there that have to hatch in order to die now crossfire does claim to kill the eggs but a lot of times eggs are laid in places that you can't get to you know like in the wall one of the reasons i don't recommend heat treatments is because bed bugs go in the wall and they lay their eggs in the wall and the heat will not penetrate through the insulation that's in your wall so you know there are places you just can't get to with bed with a bed bug treatment and so you have to kind of wait for those eggs to hatch but here's the kicker bed bugs don't feed right away when they hatch they take another week or so before they even come out and bite you. So you spray today, bed bugs laid eggs yesterday. It could be up to almost three weeks before you get bit by those eggs that were laid last night. A lot of people will say they treated, or even when I go in places and I treat, they'll say things like, uh, it's been a couple weeks, it was really good, and then all of a sudden last night I got bit by bed bugs. That is normal. That does happen because, like I said, we're waiting on those bed bugs that were laid. We're late, waiting on those things to come out to bite you. And another thing about Crossfire, this is something a lot of people don't know either how it works. They just know it's a pesticide that kills bugs. Most pesticides are designed as a repellent, meaning when a bug comes into your location where pesticides have been sprayed, they can see where the pesticide has been sprayed, kind of like a barrier. They don't want to cross through it because if they do, they'll die. They know it will kill them. So Crossfire is not like that. Crossfire is a barrier treatment, but it's an invisible barrier. So the way it works is it has a 30-day residue, a residual that lasts for 30 days. So in the 30 days it takes for it to, you know, lose its effectiveness, it is continuing to kill bed bugs. The bed bugs do not see it as a chemical, so they don't know it's there. So what happens is they crawl out because they still see you. They're like, oh, I'm going to num, 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 num. eat that person. I'm going to come out and munch on him, and he's going to be delicious. But they don't know, or her, or her. I'm going to come out and munch on her because she'll be delicious. That way, that way, that way I want to be inclusive. But um, 
So they don't know any chemicals on the bed. They don't know anything's been sprayed on the mattress or the box spring or the bed rails because those are the places you're supposed to treat with Crossfire. You're supposed to treat the mattress, box spring, headboard, footboard, bed rails. You're supposed to treat couches, love seats, lazy boy recliners. Basically, all of your major furniture gets treated. So that way, no matter where you sit, no matter where you're relaxing after a hard day work, the bed bugs have to crawl through that chemical to get to you. And they don't know the chemicals there. And it will kill them for up to 30 days, which is amazing. Yeah, it's just really good. So you don't have to spray every single day. Like some people will comment on my videos and they'll say, I've sprayed my house every two or three days, or I've sprayed my house once a week, or I've, I'm spraying my house twice a month. You don't have to do that. You can. You can do that. In fact, I recommend that people who treat their house that aren't professionals, just the regular do-it-yourselfer, um, I would recommend that you treat your house once every other week or at least twi uh, once a month for two or three months. The reason I say this is because as a professional, I am used to treating for bed bugs. So I go into a house, I know all the places to hit, I know exactly where to be the most effective because I do, I've been doing this for 23 years, I've been killing bed, bug, bed bugs for a long time. And so I've got a, you know, a routine. I go through and I treat everything like I'm supposed to. Me and my son, who's sitting right here beside me, we can usually get in and out of a house in maybe 45 minutes to an hour and get the whole house treated. But we know what to do. You know, he goes in and breaks down the furniture, takes all the cushions and stuff off the sofas, flips stuff upside down. I'm treating the beds while he's doing that so we can kind of, you know, we work as a team. Um, you may be working alone. So, you know, it may not be feasible for you to treat but once a month. But that's what I recommend. I treat once a month for 90 days. So you treat three times. You should treat a total of three times. And the reason I say to do this is because some eggs do take longer than that 10-day period. Um, it happens with roaches. It happens with bed bugs. You know, these kind of things just are fluke mistakes that just occur. And it does happen based on uh, temperature. It could be just the temperature of the room. It could be, uh, you know, uh, moisture in the air. There are lots of things that factor into why a bed bug egg does not lay with or, or hatch within the first six to 10 days. That things happen. But that's why I usually recommend treating once a month for, for 90 days. Um, and that way, at the end of the month, right when that chemical starts to lose its effectiveness over the 30 day period, you apply again, you always have an active ingredient there on your mattress, on your box spring for a couple months and then the bed bugs have nowhere to go but death. So that's what I recommend. That's how I recommend treating for, for bed bugs. I don't recommend treating more often, maybe once every two weeks, if, if you have a really heavy infestation. I'm not talking about if you pick up your bed and you might find three or four bed bugs and that's all you've got. I'm not, you know, I'm talking about the people who have bed bugs everywhere, who've been fighting bed bugs for, you know, years or even you know nine months or ten months twelve months you've been fighting these bed bugs for a long time so they've been able to build up their uh, numbers you may want to treat you know once every two weeks um, but like I said hopefully this video has kind of cleared the air and explained to people uh, why they're having continual bed bug problems it's not that it's it's really about expectation. It's really about what you can expect after treating with Crossfire, um, what happens, how long it takes for them to die, and how often you need to treat. So you only need to treat about once a month. It takes the bed bugs after you apply it. If it's still wet, it takes about five minutes to kill a bed bug. If it's if it's uh, dry it and it's been really close to when you just treated, maybe yesterday, it may take five minutes to an hour for a bed bug to die. Hmm. As it gets closer to, you know, the 30-day mark, it may be taking bed bugs a day to die, you know, because the chemical is just not very strong. So they're able to, you know, they, they're still dying from it, but they can get further into the room. They can bite you more often, but they do still die, hopefully, before they lay eggs. But that's why I say if you're still getting bit at that 30, 35 days or something after you've treated, you really do want to treat again because you don't want those bed bugs that have bit you to lay eggs. Even if they do die, the babies that hatch out of those eggs, they won't die. 
because it takes them, like I said, about two weeks or so to bite you again, and by then, you have no more crossfire. Um, so hopefully this video has been educational. Hopefully it has helped you. I, uh, you know, if you have any questions and you want to, you know, get answers or anything like that, I do have a Discord. I try to link it, like, in the, in the little cards here or there or wherever. Um, I try to, if I remember to do it every video, so that you guys can, can click that link. You can come over and talk to me. I've got a lot of people on my Discord channel who have been watching me and following me for a long time who give really good advice. If I'm not available to give advice, they're there to give advice. I have, uh, I have mods here that on my channel that, that give advice that help a lot. And uh, so you know that you know everything is up, up to par on my channel. I don't allow just any comment to fly here. I delete comments all the time where people give negative advice. So hopefully, uh, you know, you're here, you'll, you'll have a good place to hang out, and you'll get good, solid advice from my channel. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, it, I do telephone consultations. Uh, the link is in the description below. Um, but also, I do telephone consultations for free on Thursday nights. Like, I'm filming this. It's a Thursday right now. I'm planning on going live tonight on YouTube. And so I open my phone up for people to call me. Uh, I have a Skype phone number, so you can call in directly. Now, you will be heard on the Internet. People will hear your question, and they will hear my answer. It helps us all as a group because that's the goal. we got to get rid of these things together. We work together, and hopefully, uh, you know, you can come by. You can hang out with us. We've got a positive place to be, and we can talk about our bed bug problems. Nobody makes fun of anybody. If they do, they get kicked out of there. So, <laughs> so come on by, hang out on my live streams, uh, chat with us all, and hopefully we can kick this bed bug problem in the bud. Uh, if you really like it, like I said, one more time, I'll ask you, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm live, so you know when these videos upload to my channel. Y'all have a really great day. And like I said, if you have any questions at all about Crossfire or how it works, I have no problem answering them in the comments. I read every single one of my comments that comes through my video, and I look forward to talking to each and every one of you. So y'all have a great one. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.